So in this learning objective, we're gonna keep using complex numbers, we're gonna do some more complex operations. So we saw what happens if we take i and raise it to an exponent previously, and right, now we'll do other ones. All right, so now we're gonna perform more operations like addition, subtraction, and multiplication. All right, so every complex number is of the form a plus bi. So this is what we call the real part. Like it's just some real number, two, five, negative four, whatever. And this is what we call the imaginary part. Imaginary, because the i is not actually a real number. All right, whenever you're doing the square root of negative one, it's not something that's gonna appear in like nature. All right, again, there are applications for it, but it's not something that's gonna, you're gonna walk around the corner and see an i. All right, so every complex number has a real part and imaginary part. And just like always, we can only combine like terms. So you're only going to combine imaginary parts together and you're only going to combine real parts together. All right, so we'll see how that works when we start doing addition and subtraction. All right, so we want to add these complex numbers. All right, we can only add the real parts together and add the complex parts together. All right, so this is going to give us seven, three i's minus four i's is going to be negative one i's. All right, so it's that simple when you're adding and subtracting, just only combine the similar like terms. All right, when you're subtracting, it's important to remember this negative sign distributes and applies to both of these. So you could do it kind of in your head. You could rewrite this as five minus i plus negative three plus eight i. Or you could distribute it before that, right, however you want. But again, the important thing, we're gonna get five minus three is two. Negative i minus negative eight i is plus eight. So negative one of them plus eight of them is gonna be positive seven of them. All right, so again, just be really careful whatever you're subtracting. All right, because you have to think about your negative signs, and especially when you have subtracting a negative, they cancel and give you a positive. All right, but this is the final answer for that. All right, so go ahead and try this one on your own. Again, it's subtracting, so be careful. I right, would subtract these two complex numbers. All right, that's the answer I got. All right, five minus six is negative one three plus two i, because the double negative is five i. All right, so now we're gonna multiply complex numbers. Uh, we're multiplying, all right, whenever you're multiplying stuff, you can multiply things that aren't like terms. It's only when you're adding and subtracting you have to worry about like terms. So I can multiply stuff together. I'd be look at this, if these were x's, instead of i's, we've done problems like this before. All right, we did it in a previous unit, and this is just FOIL. All right, so to multiply complex numbers, I just have to remember to FOIL. So when I multiply the first terms together, I'm gonna to get eight. Remember, you're multiplying. And then I'm gonna multiply the outer terms together, I'm gonna to get negative two i. Inner terms together, I'm gonna to get plus 12 i. And I'm multiplying three i times negative i is negative three i squared. All right, first thing we do is combine like terms. Just gonna give us plus 10 i. So really so far, nothing's different than if these i's had been x's. This would be 8 plus 10x minus 3x squared. All right, so nothing's really different than if they had been x's. i is just some kind of letter. But now we, there's one extra thing we can do. And we remember from our previous learning objective that i squared is the same as negative 1. All right, so whenever you're multiplying these things together, i squared is just negative 1. All right, so now I can actually combine those into positive three. And again, I can find some like terms. I have some numbers that are together. I get 11 plus 10i. Right. So whenever you're multiplying complex numbers, your final answer should just still be a real part and an imaginary part. So you know you haven't simplified enough until you get it down to look like something in the yellow box. All right, but what's gonna help you get there is remembering this fact from a previous learning objective. All right, so I'll do one more example together. All right, five minus two i times five plus two i. All right, first, outer, inner, and last. Right. Combining like terms, 10 i and minus two i, those are actually gonna cancel out. And then uh, i squared is negative one. 
those two negatives are going to cancel. And we get 29. All right, so it is possible to multiply two complex numbers and get a real number, which is also kind of a strange thing. You take these imaginary things and multiply them together, and you actually get a real thing at the end. All right, but it is possible. So in this case, we actually just get a normal number. There's no imaginary part. So you could write it as a complex number if you wanted to, right, but there's zero imaginary part. All right, so in this case, we just get 29. All right, so go ahead and try this one on your own. I right, multiply these complex numbers together.